What is going down, peoples of the YouTube? This is Sim with Vengeance, the mayor of Jam City, and I'm bringing you guys another MLB 13 Road to the show. But you guys can watch the gameplay if you want. I'm going to do a little bit of storytelling. And I got just got out of English class, and I'm writing a paper about sportsmanship. And it got me thinking. Sin, you were just a baseball coach this past summer for your little brother's team. And there was a time, I, this is about to be the story I'm about to tell you. And um, some crazy shit happened. So, um, there was a game at home that I was playing against a team called Sumner, just a team south of my hometown in New Hampton, Iowa. I'm not going to mention any names. I'm just going to mention the city. Keep everybody's noses clean and uh, no damage done in the reputations of these uh, people because I'm, I'm not about to do that. I'm more classy than that, but I'm just going to leave it at that. But what I really want to talk about is... How sportsmanship has really affected the United States in general. During this game, I I, I recently just became the head co well not the he the head manager I should say of my little brother's softball team or baseball team, and we had a game and I was I'm always a great coach I'm always warming up with the team exercising with the team you know being more involved with the team I'm doing everything I can to be a good coach. So when the game started, my brother was behind the plate. And he was doing a great job, you know. Um, we were—he was doing his thing behind the plate, um, not letting anything get by him. Uh, basically, uh, anything that you want a catcher to do. So I was like, okay, I'm doing—he's doing a good job. But he comes back to the dugout, kind of angry, and he—he he lets his emotions out just like I do a, a lot. But what he said to me was, there are people in the stands talking some mad well I won't say I, he didn't say shit but they were talking shit so I was like okay Danny don't worry about it mom's but right there behind you she's gonna back you up 100% same with Emily who is my sister and it just let it go so basically it got to the point where later on in the game fourth inning about oh, almost any of the game we were getting our asses kicked and the kid one of their other team's kid slides in the home plate but forgets to touch home so i'm like danny go tag him now and he didn't touch home plate neither did the umpire call him safe or out tag him so the uh, the late the the i wouldn't say clot the women because they don't even act like it they're barbaric bitches so they were taught they were talking mad shit to danny my little brother and i simply had enough of it so i was like look if you want to talk this shit, go do it somewhere else. Don't do it in front of my players and in front of everybody else who's watching. You're showing this terrible sportsmanship. And the lady got so pissed off at me. And I was just like, you know what? Just go. Just leave. I, I just, If you want to talk this shit, we'll talk about it after the game. Don't do it here. Don't do it in front of my players, in front of your players, in front of your son, and in front of the, the whole damn town. Because it makes you look like a bunch of retards. So the lady got pissed off. She wanted to fight. I think she was. I think my, majorly because because of the fact that she was. She might have been drunk. But I was like, you know what? I don't have time for your crap. I was, I backed down from the situation. And knowing my history with the team that we were facing, I they they thought I was actually going to fight them. But I, I was that was so called like high school days. I really didn't like the the team that we were playing of uh, Sumner they're they're not really uh the classiest team out there so I backed down from the situation actually they held me back they actually grabbed me in one of the other guys the other coaches he's a big dude he he pulled me back he's like what the hell are you doing I'm like I'm just standing up for my team so we thought not, the coaches from the other team got involved and I was like look Tell that lady to calm down or to leave right now. Otherwise, shit's going to get real crazy. And apparently the coaches agreed and so-called agreed. Put that around quotations because what I'm about to tell you is just really ridiculous. So we decided to play the next game. We had a doubleheader, so we were all right with that. So we played the game straight up. Everything was fine after that. So the next day I get a call from the park and rec manager. I'm not going to say his name or anything like that. But he said, I have been fired because of what I did. I stood up for my team. And I don't know how this happened. The park and rec manager wasn't even at the game. But from what I was told, the lady that was talking the mad shit behind my players 
called the park and rec, our park and rec and said that I was the one who instigated this stuff when clearly it was the people behind him uh, behind this in the stands and I was just defending my team I wasn't about to have this nonsense but anyway guys tell me what you guys think about that situation I thought it was a dirty situation and I thought it was handled very piss poorly and sportsmanship in America has just gone down the shitter uh, but anyway, guys, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. And until that next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance. I'm the mayor of Jam City, and I'm out of here. Peace.